Hello, and welcome back to the Introvert Circus. I'm Sassafras. That giant blob behind me is Sirius, who's taking a nap on my couch. And we are back for another video. This is a different location than I usually film in. This is my office, where I write lots of articles and books about life with dogs, dog training, all that fun stuff. Definitely check out links to my social media below if you want to learn more and link to Amazon for links to my books. Today's video, we are going to be doing a plan with me in my dog training planner. I introduced this a few weeks ago. This is a print version of the planner that I had been sort of drawing out by hand, kind of bullet journal, kind of planner into this hybrid thing that I've been using for the last couple of years to track my daily and weekly training goals with my dogs. I created my own planner, link below if you want to order a print copy on Amazon. Also, you can uh, get a PDF download by ordering it through my PayPal. That link is also below if you're somebody who wants to print it. Put it in a binder i know some folks in my training group on facebook were printing it and laminating it putting it on their fridge and then using white erase uh, like whiteboard erase markers on it which i think is so brilliant but i'm somebody that likes the paper ephemera so i have the paper version that i use for myself uh it again just came a couple of weeks ago last week was the first week i was using it so here is last week's pages and how they ended up um, I'm really pleased with how it worked. I put washi tape on because I am extra and I was able to document what I was working on. And you can see we didn't hit everything every day of the week and that's okay. You know, none of us have this idyllic, perfect training reality. Um, I thought we were going to work on rally last week. How many times did we work on rally last week? zero times and it's because we worked on some other things so uh i put some notes in there about new things i taught we got our supplements in every day we got our stretches in most days not every day um so yeah let's work on planning this week's spread and i'll walk you through kind of how we are going to do that Sirius is going to get off the couch <laughs> um and i will walk you through how i sort of plan what i'm working on in a given week so here's my pages like last week i am going to use washi tape again you absolutely don't have to I just really like how cute it makes it. So I have this really thin one that came in a kit from Michaels a long time ago that just goes, I'm gonna put right on the top. That is cute. Where's my ruler? There it is. I'm just gonna use the sh sharp end of my ruler to cut that washi. Okay. And then I'm going to use this one on the bottom. Where's the end of my washi tape? Okay. So yeah, you absolutely do not have to use um, anything decorative planning wise. I just really like to. It's something I incorporated when I was doing weekly spreads that I was drawing out. And so I really like being able to add it in to my... Um, planner here as well. So this is some Chihuahua washi tape. I believe it came from Paper Source from many years ago uh, and it always reminded me of my little Chimex who passed but um, I love it. So I'm going to remember what the dates this week are. Things I should know. All right so I am planning for the week of January 25th. Through 31st. 2021. All right, I have giant handwriting. So um, I'll come back and put in goals. I think that I'm also going to adjust some things here. I want to do supplements. I'm also going to put stretching over here instead of in my trick section. And yeah, those are the two things I'm going to put there for now. And for skills that we're going to work on this week, we're going to work on basketball, which we are have some exciting goals with. We're going to work on reading, which is a new trick for her. We're going to work on, what did I do last week? 
we're going to do more. I don't need to put add stretching in because I move stretching over there. We're going to work on bow, I'm working on adding distance and fluency. Um, focus is something we are always working on. And I want to add in, what are we doing? Um, airplane. And um, I'm not, you can see how much we did rally last week. I don't have any sort of like pressing ongoing rally goals, so that's fine. Um, but maybe we will work on rally again. We'll see if we do any rally skills there. Okay. And so my real goal this week is for fun and fluency. And by that I mean, one of the things I'm really working on with her is focusing on, and I'm actually being bad, I'm planning this on Tuesday. We did brush yesterday, we went on two walks yesterday, and we worked on basketball, bow, and focus. She also got her supplements yesterday, and we did stretching yesterday. So, um, but what I mean by fluency is I'm working with her on having an understanding of some new tricks in more distracting situations or at a distance or on verbal, um, verbal cues alone as opposed to physical cues or very subtle physical cues. So I'm working on fading out cues. I might actually add that fun plus fluency plus cue fade. And that's just really to remind myself, what are our priorities this week? What do I want to focus on? What do I want to put my energy into when she and I are training? And training is something that I try to incorporate into my day all the time. I'm really, really fortunate that my job is writing about dogs. So I have the ability to, throughout my day, spend a couple of minutes, a couple of seconds, working on a specific skill, but you can do this too, even if you have lots of other responsibilities, when you're feeding, when you're getting up to go out, when your dog brings you a toy, when you're playing, any of that kind of stuff, those moments are great opportunities to just throw in a trick, work on an easy skill um, very quickly, and over time you're able to build fluency with that and build value in the activity. I love to work on just a couple of tricks really, really quickly when I'm going and starting to prep dinner or breakfast for her and the cats. Um, it's something that just is really easy. We do tricks before I put the bowl down. We do tricks once I put the bowl down, which is also, again, building her ability to work around distractions, that kind of thing. Um, I love to incorporate tricks into my walks. Um, we might work on a little trick here and there that way. So there's always time. It doesn't have to be this very formal involved training session. And that's what I love about being able to track what we're doing in the planner is because it, I'm able to be like, oh, right, we worked on that that day. Even if it was just for a couple of seconds, that counts. Those couple of seconds both add up over time and can actually be much more valuable to your dog um, as opposed to drilling and drilling and drilling and they lose patience with it. She's a dog that has a very low frustration tolerance. She's not a dog that's going to enjoy drilling, drilling, drilling a skill. She wants to do it, she wants to get it, and she wants to move on. Uh, and so I have to constantly be aware of that when I'm training and not ever push her to the point of getting bored with what we're doing so that you know we're not going to sit there and drill 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 we're going to mix it up we're going to play we're going to incorporate training into our day and that's what builds a lot of value in it so i hope that you enjoyed today's video let me know in the comments if you're using the planner i know a bunch of orders have come in both for the print and for the pdf printable let me know if you're using this or if you're using a completely different kind of structure for planning and organizing your training i'd love to know uh, and if you have not already please give this video a thumbs up please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed it really helps the channel I have a bunch of fun things coming and I'm really working to grow engagement here on YouTube so I hope you're having a really fun day with your dogs and I will see you in another video very very soon bye